Okay, so this is a short tutorial on how to set up OWASP's Broken Web Applications VM and then analyze those broken web applications using Burp Suite. So there's a much more detailed and very helpful tutorial. Um, I'll put the link in the, in the bio, but um, this is just a really quick and dirty guide on how to do this. So you wanna go to this link um, OWASP Broken Web Applications Project and this basically contains a bunch of broken web applications um, and it helps people to train in penetration testing so exploiting the vulnerabilities in those web applications um, so let's go to download the latest release and um, I already have it, but you click right here and it should begin downloading. Um, so go find the download, save the download to your desktop or something. And it should be right here. Now we want to put the VM into VMware so we can use it. Um, there are all these VMDK files, but we want the .vmx file. So open up VMware. Um, I already have it here, but all you have to do is drag this over here and release, and it should be put into the VMware library. Um, so then we want to start the VM. Um, this takes a minute. Uh, and at the end of it, they should give us a username and password that we sign into. And then to actually use the GUI version of this VM, um, we're going to go, we're going to follow this IP address and open it up in the browser um, to which we are pointing our burp proxy. So here is, oh, if you lose your mouse within a VM, the, the key to getting it back is pressing command control. So you get your mouse back. Um, anyways, here is the username and password that they provide. So let's just log in with those. Okay, so I need, um, so now let's open up the browser that is hooked up to the burp proxy. Mine is Firefox. Um, so before I get this going, um, before I can visit anything, because it's hooked up to the burp proxy, I have to start, I have to run burp. So I'm just going to start it and turn intercept off because otherwise I'll have to okay every single request and I don't want to do that. So let's turn intercept off and just leave it sitting. Um, and let's enter this IP address into our browser. 192.168.153.133. Okay, that brings us to this page. Um, so this is the VM. We are accessing it in our browser. So one really cool thing is you can see a list of all of the applications that have a particular kind of vulnerability. So we'll go to this link. Um, let's say we're interested in one with cross-site scripting vulnerability. Um, so the summary is the kind of vulnerabilities that it has and the component is the particular application that has that. So let's say Vicnum 
has this reflected cross-site scripting vulnerability. So let's find Victim. They have, a, they have some training applications here. Oh, and the intentional, intentionally vulnerable applications here. So let's click one. Okay, so this is a game. Okay, this is a game where you guess the number the computer has picked. So basically we just wanna see if this is vulnerable to cross-site scripting. Um, so let's just enter any input we can find within Burp Suite. I'll click play. Notice here that our input was reflected to the output, um, or it was reflected by the browser and displayed on the page. Um, so that indicates that this particular input field is reflected. But anyways, let's go see what it looks like in Burp Suite. Um, so the most recent request was to post the very easily recognizable um, string here. And let's take a look and confirm that it's reflected in the response. Uh, yes, it is. Okay, so this means that the OWASP Broken Web Applications VM is up and running and we can mess around with the intentionally broken web applications and analyze them in Burp Suite. Um, that's pretty much it. That was the goal of this tutorial.